Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Live from M60 RV right here in Jones, Michigan. Myself, the RV Whisperer, and Mr. Cameraman are reunited, as Peaches used to say. Okay, so we are reunited. And the reason we And moved, it feels so good. Yes, and the reason we moved up to Jones, Michigan is because we knew we'd be jonesing for a good deal. So let's take a look. We've got a 2023 Explorer 240 BHX. Okay, so it's 24 foot long in the box itself, and it's got a bunkhouse in it. So let's kind of just go around and take a look at it. If you go in the front cap here, you can see you've got a fiberglass front cap right here, and then down here you have your rock guard. It's all laminated product for you, so that way you have long, good durability on the coach itself. You can see in the front, you have a power tongue jack here, which you just turn it on here and turn it off there. When you turn it on, then a little light will come on here for you. So that way, if you're coming in in the nighttime, you'll be able to see your lights. Okay, then you can raise and lower the trailer in order to get it to your height that you need it to be in order to get it off of the truck. Up front here, we have two 20-pound LP bottles, which will have the automatic switchover. A nice advantage of the 20-pound LP bottles, folks, is the fact that if you run out of gas, wherever it may be, you can just go to the local Walmart, the local gas station, and just exchange these bottles. Okay? So that's an advantage for you. Okay? You can see up front here, you have a place for your battery, which you do have enough room. If you wanted to do, you could do a second battery. And then right here, you have your plug-in for your Furion solar charger. Just comes out here. It's kind of like in a little suitcase. And you can set it out, and then it will help charge your batteries for you. So that way you can do some dry camping. Okay? You come on around here. Here, we have our pass-through storage, which has lights on either side then for you. And then there you'll see your 30-amp power cord right there for you. Here, you'll also see this will give you all your specifications as to what you have. This here is 5,400 pounds dry weight, so very easily to be towable by a half-ton truck. Nice thing here, you'll notice, you don't have to worry about any latches. You just take this up, and it automatically sticks right there for you, okay? You have a nice trim along the bottom here. You can also see you have jacks. You have two in the front and two in the back, which will help stabilize you. This is your slide out here. You can also see up on the roof, you have a TPO roof, which will have your 12-year warranty for you. You have your nice slider windows right here on the slide itself, so that way you can get some good airflow in between. And this is another slider window here for you as well, too. Okay? So we come on around. <clears throat> right here, then you have your cable hookup. So that way if the park offers cable, you can hook up right there for you. You do have your TV antenna on the top. This is for your 30 amp cord. Nice thing you'll notice here, it's all sealed. Okay, so you don't have to worry about the little critters or the animals crawling up into there for you. Here you have your 15 inch tires on there for you with the aluminum rims. Okay, then right here, this is your dump station here. Okay, you have 36 gallons of fresh, 32 gallons of gray, and 17 of black. But you'll notice here, this is your black. I kind of made it easy for you. This is where you dump the black, and then you dump the gray. You always want to dump the black first, have it dump out, and then have the gray come down as well, too. You can always tell the gray is always the smaller pipe for you as well. Then right here, what you have is you have your black water tank flush. So what you do is you just hook your hose up to here. That'll go in and it'll clean out your black water so that way you don't get any false readings. Here you have your gravity fill for your fresh water. And then you have your city water connection right here. Okay. So again, back here you have your other jacks here. Here you have a nice little place you can store your sewer hose and the bumper itself. You can also see when you go to the top, it's a nice radius roof for you too as well. So you're not going to have a flat roof and water just sitting up there. The water's going to come out and run down for you. You also see you have the ability, if you want to here, you can put on a backup camera. So that way when you're backing it up, you can see what's going on back here in the back. You have your nice spare tire right here. You have a six gallon gas electric hot water heater. Okay, should be plenty for you and the family. And then back here, you have your outside shower. Oops, I don't know if we got it unlocked. I don't, but that's okay. All right, let's do it. Okay, so you have this little key right here. And here you unlock it, you have hot and cold so that we can have your outside shower. If you're feeling brave, you can shower out here or if you just want to clean up after the kids have been out on the adventure. As I know with my little grandson, kids love dirt. Okay, so this way you can get them and clean them off 
before they come into the to the house itself. Okay, then we come on to this side. You notice here, your awning itself is a nice size awning. Runs all the way from the back of the trailer to just in front of the patio door. So that way, if you're getting bad weather or whatever it may be, you might have to go into the into the rain. Right there, your awning will protect you. Now it is a power awning as well. I'll show you right here. We're gonna put it out. The power awning, so you just push the button on the inside, and then the awning will automatically come out for you. Another nice feature that they have right here for you too, as well as you have the LED light strip, which goes all the way underneath your awning for you. Okay, so you just put the awning out. And what you'll notice is you do have the ability to adjust it as well too. So if you want to take the one side and have it run down just a little bit, so that way if you have weather, you can have those with run off of that side for you. Okay. Now out here we have our outside kitchen, which is nice because the majority of the time when you're camping, you're going to be cooking outside. So right here, you just have your outside grill, or it's a griddle, sorry. It's a griddle right here, so you just can cook up right here have your heat adjustments right there for you too as well a place to store some of your condiments or whatever it may be right there nice little refrigerator on the outside for you as well too and again you have the magnetic strip right here you also notice if you look here you have your outside speakers okay so that way if you're sitting on the outside here just enjoying a campfire talking to a family about hey what kind of fun did we have today well right there you can have it according to music then as well okay then here you have a nice little plugs right here so if you want to plug in anything on the outside you can do it right there okay then right here if you see that little yellow right there that is your LP gas quick connect which this is what will hook up to it for you right here you have your cord which will hook up to the grill and then hooks up and then that runs right off of your LP bottles in the front you also notice you have the Lippert solid step system okay so that way it's a real solid step real easy to operate as well too you know, when you're putting it in you can open it up it goes back inside the trailer for you. And you can adjust the heights there for you too as well. And as you can see, you have three nice solid steps. You have a nice wide door, so it's going to be easy to get stuff inside and outside of the camper as well. Okay. And here you have the other side of your outside storage. This is your 30 amp power cord right here, and then this is to do your jacks for you. Which what I'd recommend is just get a drill at home, get the bit that fits there, sink, sink, in and out. Okay saves you some money it's a nice effective way of doing your jacks so let's go inside and take a look come on in let you kind of look around here this is kind of your living area right here you have a nice little dinette right here which is nice and big you can take this table and drop it down and then this way this will make a bed here for you and as I showed you look here you have your nice little slider windows okay so that way the slider windows, you slide those open, you can get a nice airflow in and out throughout the coach, okay? Now when we first come in, here you have your control center. As Scotty used to say, beam me up. You can't beam anybody up, but this will tell you what's going on with your trailer, okay? Here you have your battery button. You just push that, it'll tell you the level, your fresh water tank, your black tank, your gray tank, and then you also have the galley tank in here as well too. This is your light switch here for the outside awning. And this is your switch that you have here for your interior lights, okay? Now, if you look up front here, the nice thing is you have a real nice modern look up here in the front. The place you can put your backer right here, you can do up to a 100, 100 or a 12-pound backer right here. You have your hook up here for the satellite, or not the satellite, for the, for the antenna, as well as for your cable. That little green light there will tell you if the signal's been boosted for you, okay? Here you have your two plugs. Here you also have your radio system right here. Okay, so you can just turn it on, listen to it. It's all Bluetooth ready for you too as well. So if the kids got stuff they want to play, you can do it right there. You can also do your presets right here, the mode that you want to do it in. There's the Bluetooth, the auxiliary, one and two, and then just your FM, okay? Then here is where you can change the band, and then this will tell you the zones. Zone 1 will be inside the trailer. Zone 2 will be outside the trailer for you. Okay. And it even says goodbye when you shut it off. Kind of just a nice little feature. So when you come in, <coughs> here you have all of your countertop right here for you, which is a, a laminate countertop. 
okay here you have a nice little drawer right there here you have your pull out doors here and here this is for your heat so that way your heat can circulate throughout the coach in this particular model you do have the oven so that way if you want to do a pizza and then you do have your three burner cooktop with your cover which you can pull back here and then kind of give you the splash guard too as well you have a nice backsplash which gives it a real nice modern look for you here you have some more storage okay here you have your microwave here you have your light for your cooktop and then also your fan too as well okay and then here you have your Furion refrigerator if you take a look when you're out shopping around guys just take a look at how deep this refrigerator is as comparison to everybody else in the market it's got a lot of nice, nice depth on it. You can get a lot of stuff in there, okay? And you can get a little pull-out drawer right there for you. Drawers here, and then your freezer up top, okay? And down here, you have your fuse box. This is where you can check all your fuses if something happens. And then you have these here, which you can carry a couple with you then, too, as well. So if one of those blows, you can take care of it right there, okay? And again, you have your two, queen, two twin beds. You have one on the top and you have one on the bottom. You have a light up here for the kids up here. You have a plug in right here for their uh, phones if they need to plug them in. And then right here, you have a light for down here. Okay. And you also can see you have another heat vent right there. Here, you have your pantry for just some storage, which you can do right there. Okay. And then back here, you have your bathroom. Okay. Nice thing on this bathroom, which I want you to notice, is you have a tub. Any of you that have the young kids, the tub is a heck of a lot easier to take care of the kids, get them cleaned up. You can do it all right there. Have the shower curtain. You have your fan right here, which you can adjust to the three different speeds. Have it open and shut there for you as well, too. You do have air ducts right here in the bathroom. Okay. And then you have more storage right, right there under your sink. Here's your light switch Excuse me, for your bathroom. Here you have your medicine cabinet, okay, and then your toilet, which is a foot flush toilet, which you just go right down here, and this flushes the toilet for you as well, too, okay, and then a little skylight in here so you have enough room to get in and out, okay, so we're in the back, now in the front, <coughs> this is your master bedroom, is what I guess you'd like to say, okay, you have an RV queen in here, but you do have a nice little shelf up here on the top that you're able to store some stuff. You can see you have the nice ship lap back there in the back. You have plug-ins right back there in the bed. You have a little light right here for you as well, too. Mr. Cameraman, if you can open up that one there. You have another little nice little storage right there. Here you have a place that you can back put your uh, TV in here for the bedroom. Okay. And if you lift this bed up underneath... We do have some storage down there. So for a 24-foot trailer, you've got quite a few places you can store some stuff and take everything with you that you need. You do have the pocket doors on either side. Okay. So they just latch on there. And then you just pull them over so that way you can have some privacy for you. You do have the light right here as well. Okay. And as you can see, you have windows. This is your emergency exit here. And you do have a nice window on the other side, so that way you can get some nice cross breeze all the way throughout. You have the night shades here, so you can just pull them down, black everything out for you as well, too. Okay? <clears throat> and your dinette is in the slide, and again, this is where you have your slide control right here. So if you want to put the slide in and out, you just do it right here. Okay? And then you just push it and put it back. Over here, you also have your control for your air conditioning and for your furnace is all done right here for you as well, too. Okay, so it's a nice little coach. You can sleep two, four, five, six. You could probably even get two more kids up here so you could sleep up to eight in this nice little 24-foot trailer. Nice to pull with your little half-ton truck. So it's not going to take a lot to do it for you, too, as well. Now, out here at M60 RV, this is where we're located. We're in Jones, Michigan. M60 RV kind of gives away the location as to where we're on. We're on M60 in Michigan, Jones, Michigan. Okay, we have a nice little saying here too as well, which we brought over from the previous place that we were at. Uh, Mr. Cameraman and I, and then Mr. Ivan Schrock was also there as well too. We were at a place for 18 years. 
we got purchased after a short period of time we came up with the fact that we're probably not corporate people we like to take care of people okay we like you to come in as a stranger and leave as a friend okay we don't like you to come in as a stranger and leave as a stranger so come see us at m60 rv again come in as strangers and leave as friends if you're still here thanks for watching